the big day today, you guys. As you saw, Brayden got the text, <laughs> which means his call is in his email right now. We keep talking about it. It's literally in the palm of his hand. He could open up that email right now if he wanted to and find out exactly where he's going for the next two years. His stomach has been in knots all morning and so has mine. <laughs> he literally ran up to my room this morning. What was it, like eight o'clock? Eight in the morning. Like eight in the morning, he's like, Mom, I got my call, and I my stomach instantly like dropped. So, <laughs> as you can see, Braden can't stop moving. He's been yelling all morning. He's like, ah, oh, I just want to know. Ah, oh, I just want to know. But we're not gonna know, you guys, until later this evening at 8 p.m. because he wants to be able to open it in front of friends and family. And we've got a big old get together that we're gonna do. Our house is gonna be packed, jammed full of people here supporting Brayden and rooting him on and finding out where the heck he's gonna go. So, make it official. Where do you think you're going? I don't know. You gotta say, you gotta say something. Where? Yeah. I don't know. Where do you think? Um. Okay, out of the country, where? Out of the country, uh, let's say, I don't, I don't know. Let's say Greece. Whoa! I haven't heard you say that one no, yet. Okay, Greece. Greece and then in country. In country, I have, I don't know, Ohio. Ohio, okay. So those are Brayden's guesses. You guys do not skip ahead in this video to find out where he went. Watch it all the way through. You guys need to come through the suspense with us. I have a lot to do. I have a lot I have to get done. We're gonna set up a world map, which we have right over here. It's gonna get dark in here. We have a world map over here that we're gonna set up for everyone to put their guesses on. Um, boom, check that out. So I'm gonna put that over on the Brayden wall over there. And then we have like a few decorations and stuff left over from Brayden's graduation that we're gonna try to incorporate and see what we can do. But you guys, we're gonna know tonight for the next two years where Brayden's gonna be going, living, and we also get to find out when he leaves, which I think he's the most nervous about, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> So here we go, you guys. It's gonna be a long day. We have about seven and a half hours before he opens up his call. But luckily, we have a lot of things to do in the meantime to prep and get ready for it. Here we go, you guys. Woo! We're so excited, so scared, so nervous, so all of the things. All right, Lige, big day today, dude. Big day. What do you think of all this? It's just nerve-wracking. It is. That means he's leaving soon. Yeah, he could be leaving in July or he could be leaving in... August, September, October, we have no idea, huh? Yep. Okay, so officially, where do you think he's going? Inside the country and outside the country. Yeah, name, okay. name each one. Inside the country, Ohio. Okay. Outside the country, Brazil. Oh, okay. What about you, Emberlyn? Ohio. Okay, the, these guys are all thinking Ohio if he's in the States. Okay, yeah. where, where outside of the States? I don't know. You don't know? Russia. Russia. Woo! That'd be crazy, huh? Yeah, I'm saying Ohio okay. and Argentina. If he's oh, okay. Argentina's kind of my uh, guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I've told this story before, you guys, but for like the last, what, year and a half or something, I've always teased Brayden that he's going to Argentina because my name is at the end of it. So if he actually ends up in Argentina, that would be hilarious. I would die. Would you die? I wouldn't die, but I'd I mean, it'd be pretty funny. So, and for whatever reason, my kids all think he is going to go to Ohio. I don't know who started that thought, or if you guys had separate thoughts. And then Brayden had a dream last night that he was going to Hawaii. Not Hawaii. Oh, you could go to Hawaii, though. That'd be crazy. Um, but he had a dream last night he was going to Ohio. I've had a dream that he was going to Guatemala. So, I don't know if dreams really mean anything, but we're going to find out, you guys. So we are getting things prepped and ready right now. I've got this little wall here. We made this cute little banner that says call to serve. It's probably backwards for you guys. I can't tell. But then we've got a map here that we are going to have some pins where people can pin their guesses of where he's going to be going. So everyone will come in here, come to the map, have these little pins, which I put somewhere over here. And we are going to number all the pins. So, I don't know where they went. Well, uh, ah! All right, so we have all of these pins here that I'm going to number, and then we will have, <laughs> say hello. Um, gonna number all these pins, and then they will write down their guesses. I'll have a sheet of paper that also has like the numbers on it, and so next to their number of their guess, 
they will put their name and then we'll have like a like a candy bar or something for whoever had the closest guess so we're gonna see you guys really Brayden could be going anywhere in this world which is crazy so um, I'm gonna finish setting up I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for all the decorations I'm probably gonna keep it very simple just because this place is gonna be so packed full of people I'm honestly we were counting we're like there's at least 50 people that we know of that are most likely coming and we're also reading all of your guys's guesses on Instagram and it looks like a lot of you guys are saying Peru and what was the other one a lot of you saying Peru Texas and um, Argentina so we'll see we'll see how close everybody gets even you fan bammers and you guys right now don't skip forward like I said earlier comment down below where you think Brayden is going no cheating but comment and say where you think he's gonna be going all right you guys just finishing up some cleaning but we've got pretty much everything all set as far as like decorations go we've just got the map the banner I made with those cute little puff balls and some pictures of Brayden right there when he was little I already had those out from graduation and then um, on the table over in the other room we will have um, a few refreshments and stuff over there so I still got to go to the store and do that but oh and I got to mop this floor so got to do that took the the table out of here just to make some more room honestly it's gonna be mainly standing room in here because it is going to be packed full. Our plan is to have Brayden over here. I don't know if I said that already. And then everybody else kind of just fill in this whole area. So, should be very interesting. 5.30 right now, you guys. We have Wait. two and a half. We have two and a half hours right now. We're just kind of not really scrambling. We got quite a bit of it done because we just had his graduation not that long ago. Cause so like the deep cleaning and all that is all finished. Amberlynn over there, look at that cutie patootie, just did her own hair and her cute little pigtails eating a crazy frozen waffle. <laughs> is that frozen? Mm -hmm. Oh my mamacita. Look. Wow, that's gross. So Danny went to go get a haircut real quick. Then he headed to the store to pick up some cookies, the Bonds that is not far from our house actually has the most delicious cookies in their bakery. So we're just grabbing like a bunch of boxes of those, gonna set those out. We're keeping it pretty simple. Um, we're gonna have bottled waters to drink. Then I printed these cute little things off of Pinterest called to serve and they just like wrap around the water bottles. I can't do it one handed, but you get the point. Oh, Em's gonna help me. You wrap it around the water bottles and boom, bam, done. Easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy, boozy, boozy, booty, booty. All right, you guys, we got our little refreshments ready to go. Called to serve, so cute. Got our cookies okay. here, ready to go. They're gonna go fast, so. I love cookies. I love cookies I'm too. Take like 500. 500? Yeah. That's way too many. Maybe 500,000. How you feeling? You ready? Yeah, pretty Just good. Just got out of the shower? Yeah. Yeah? Wait. You ready for tonight? Oh yeah. We've got like an hour I'm and a half. Nervous. One and a half hours. Fast. How do you feel? I had to correct that on that on the cookies. Five hundred thousand. Wow, that's too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> but, choose your day, boy. Yeah, choose your day. Nice. Big, but hey, who I cares? Looks good to as me. Long as it's choose your day shoot. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? Yeah. I'm Woo! What's up everybody? First time on here. What an amazing, exciting day. I've just been editing. I went to run some errands, got a haircut, because we're gonna have a ton of people here tonight. Like all of a sudden, Tina's been killing it, you guys. I know you probably have seen everything. She literally has been just doing amazing with getting all of the, the guessing table ready, the map wall. Look at that, you guys. I think he is going to be going to the boot. Where's the boot? He's gonna be going right here to Italy. Italy or uh, I'm gonna say Chicago. So, I don't know. I don't know. Did you make your guess, Elijah? In the state, Florida. Okay. Out of the state, where is it? It should be out of the state, Brazil. Whoa, who knows, who knows? We don't know. Come in. And we all know Emberlin's thinking Ohio, Ohio? right? If not, Argentina. Oh, don't cry for me. How are you feeling about it? I have butterflies in my stomach. You do? 
What about you, Ramsey? I'm a little nervous. Nervous? I'm just hoping it's not too, too far from my mask. Not too, too and, far? And hopefully it's not coming too soon. You want a little bit more time? Uh-huh. Yeah. What about you, E? I'm excited to see where he's going and when. Are you a little nervous at all? Not as much, though. No. no? What if you went, like... I wanted to stay in the States. Will that make you feel a lot more comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. I think Ohio. I'm I, thinking, I said it since the beginning, Ohio. I'm thinking Chicago if it's in the States. I don't know. Out of the, out of the country or thinking Argentina. Italy. Italy. Argentina. Inside Florida. Outside Brazil. Amberlin says Ohio or Argentina? Yeah. Braden says, I don't know, Argentina or Ohio, but I wow. said Greece earlier, but I don't Oh, know. Greece, maybe. Oh, I made him guess earlier, so he's changing his answers. <laughs> That's funny. With time? It honestly could be anywhere. That's like the most nerve-wracking thing. It could be California, like right by us, Utah right by us, or it could be around the world. Yeah. Could be. Could be Australia. I, I, it, does it feel like if it was in the States, it would be disappointing? No. No? I wanna... He wants to go to the East Coast, though. If he I wants... were to stay in the States, it would be East Coast, though. Yeah. He just wants to go somewhere different, he said. You'll, get, you'll feel the extreme weather. The ext you'll feel the extreme, like, cold, extreme temperatures. Yeah. Just... Yeah, we'll see. Who knows? My stomach's in knots. And you could still have a... Uh, for uh, a language in the states, yeah. so that's true. You can always tell when Braden's got something on his mind because he, he like circles the house. Yeah, he just paces <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and then when he gets an idea, he comes back to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> T minus less than an hour. Fifty-six minutes. Ooh. Oh, this is getting real, guys. I think what's I, what, what actually is gonna kind of add to the nervousness or the the nervous feelings is the amount of people that are going to be coming. I think there's going to be a decent amount that are coming to support Braden. Which is and, so cool. Which is awesome, but it's kind of like, oh, wow. It's going to be literally only standing room in here. There's, I think. No, right? yeah. Pretty sure? We're, we counted like a, probably around 50 people. That were sure, for sure coming. Yeah, that said they were coming. All right, so we've got people coming in. Everyone's coming in one by one. The room, the house is filling up. Oh, that's crazy! 
Thank you, everybody. Enjoy yeah. your treats. Did anyone guess it? Anyone guess what? Guess it? Nobody. No. 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 I didn't try that. <laughs> All the candy's mine. <laughs> Boom, you guys. House is empty now. Oh my goodness. Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon, wow. you guys. Totally feel good about it. So good about it. He's excited. Me, I'm like, okay, good. He's like, not that far. <laughs> like, yeah. really? Yeah. And I we mean, could send far packages. enough, but not that far. We could send packages easily. Yeah. And so, yeah, so we're excited. Adrenaline dump. This guy's knocked out. <laughs> Everlyn's knocked out. The boys, I gotta go check on them. We got Braden here. He's getting text message after text message after text message about where is he going, what's going on, how's he feeling. Yep. How are you feeling? Feel good. You feel good? Yep. So, Salem, Oregon, here you come. Salem, Oregon. <laughs> but not for a while. <laughs> Four months. He's basically got four months before he has to leave you guys, which is actually kind of a long time. So he's leaving September 25th. And how do you feel about being, I mean, you're only like a couple states up. Yeah. You feel good about that? Yeah, it's not, I don't know. So how did you feel when you first read it? Like what was your, what was your initial thought? Um, I don't know, I didn't have like a thought. Like I just, it's like, okay, like, I don't know, it just felt good. Yeah. Like you felt good like about. Felt right, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congrats. We finally know, and we all know we have summer with you now. Yep. All summer and pretty much into school. Yep. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys. So that is kind of a wrap for the night. It has been emotionally exhausting. Like I feel like I just ran a marathon because I am just like so tired now because my like adrenaline was going, trying to figure out like, or just trying to wait for when he got his call, where he was going. And it's like literally so nerve wracking knowing like he can go anywhere in the world. And the unknown was like, like killing us all day today. We were like, okay, we've got eight hours. We've got seven, six, five all these hours before and then finally he got his call and we are so excited for him you guys i think he is going to do awesome things in oregon and you guys are gonna have to let us know if you live around or near that area i'm super curious um i think at first i was a little worried that he was going to be disappointed because he has always wanted to do like foreign a foreign mission like the craziest mission he could ever have and also um, speak a different language. And so when he read out Salem, Oregon, for me, I was like so excited because I'm like, oh, okay, good. Like he's in the States. It's going to be easy to send him stuff. Like I don't have to worry about too much. You know, of course, I'll still worry, but like not as much. And and then I've like my thoughts immediately went to him and like, oh, I wonder if he's just a little disappointed because he wanted like this big, crazy mission. Um, and Brandon's obviously not going to sit on camera and tell you guys this because you know him and the camera. But he basically said that he opened his call and he, you know, he sees it before everybody else does, before he even reads it out loud. And he said that he just felt like a peace come over him and he knew that that's where he was supposed to serve. So he's super excited. We're super excited for him. I think he's going to do amazing things there. Um, and we're excited just to kind of follow along on his journey. So that's not happening for like four months as we were just saying. So we get way more time with him than we thought. He put his availability date down for July, um, anytime after July, and he's literally not going till September. So we have all of summer with him. One of the first things he said was like, mom, I get to watch like three Green Bay games. 
because <laughs> they don't really watch they don't watch TV or anything at all when they're out on their mission. And so he's excited that he gets to watch some football. He'll get to watch some Green Bay games. And um, yeah, I just feel like it's not rushed. We have a, we have four months with him that we can spend doing vacations and you know whatever else that we want to do. And we have some time to prepare and get him ready. So. We are feeling so good about it, so excited about it, but completely, totally, utterly exhausted, you guys. I gotta get to bed, I am so tired. Thank you guys all so much for your well wishes, your amazing comments. You guys left so many amazing comments on our Instagram, which I'm so grateful for, because so many of you were like, it doesn't matter where he goes, he's gonna be amazing no matter where he goes. And you guys left so many awesome guesses. I wanna say I went back through um, most of the comments and I saw two people on there who guessed Oregon. So there were at least two. I'm going to have to go back through and see if anybody else guessed Oregon, but there were two of you who guessed Oregon and that was it. Literally no one at our party guessed Oregon. No one even thought Oregon. And, um, I don't know. I think he's going to be pretty excited about it. I think he's going to do awesome. Of course, I feel like he would do awesome no matter where he goes, but Anyways, we're excited you guys. The news is finally out. I feel like I can breathe again. I can plan our life and like figure it all out. So I'm excited. Anyways, I'm gonna quit blabbing because I gotta get to bed and um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave the love down below for Brayden. I know these last few vlogs have been like Brayden, 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 but it's a lot of crazy cool milestones for him, you guys. So thank you guys for all of your love, all of your support, all your kind comments. Um, especially for Brayden with these huge milestones. They really mean the world to us. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, choose your day. I see a light in your eyes. I follow you so then foolishly. You'd be the 